Diego, congratulations on the movie, first of all. Thank Absolutely you. Absolutely loved it. But I have to ask, obviously everybody wants to be in a Star Wars movie. I don't care who you are. So how did this come about? Did they come to you? Did you have to audition? Or what was the process? It was a, quite a unique process. Uh, because first I got a phone call from Gareth Edwards saying, uh, I want to meet you. And I thought this was going to be just a general meeting, like 15 minutes high. He would be looking at me, what films you like, uh, where do you live, cool, see you later. <laughs> uh, and I thought he was meeting just thousands of actors to find out who was going to be part of Rogue One. So I arrived to the meeting uh, and I sit down and he starts telling me the story from beginning to end. Wow. And I go like, oh shit, oh, I mean, all this information, what am I gonna do with this now? Yeah. And, he, and he was telling it like from the perspective of, of, a, car, of a male character. He was like, so then he, the, this guy does this and then uh, he sees her, so then he goes there and then he's droid and then he, and I go like, is he saying that uh, he wants me to play that character or what? Yeah. Uh, but I, I didn't want it to ask, yeah, right? Can't. Because what if he says like, no, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no way. I want the number of your best friend or something. <laughs> no, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna wait. And at the end he said like, I would love you to play this character, but I'm just the director here. So uh, I wanna propose you to the studio, but then we have to go through many filters, you know? Okay. You have to put yourself on tape. We have to see if there's chemistry between you and, and Felicity, all of this. So I went like, perfect, yes. And then it was four months of kind of like waiting. Really? I put myself, once in, in uh, uh, I put myself on tape in Mexico and then once I was asked to travel here to have a session with him. Okay. Um, and uh, it was crazy. I arrived and they, they got me in through the back door of the hotel. Uh, I had to register as someone else. Uh, it was like, so secret everything. Uh, That's what I was going to say, because he told you a serious amount of information in that first meeting. So is there not huge secrecy around these things? Like well, when you walked out of that first meeting, was there anything like, uh, please don't tell anybody the whole story to the new Star Wars movie? I, I think I, I think that tells you who Gareth is, you know. Mm. Uh, he's just, I mean, we connected so easy. Uh, he was like, yes, we, we're doing this great film, this gigantic monster that has all these rules, but at the end, we're going to do a film. And when we're doing a film, we need to be filmmakers, and contributing and collaborating. And, uh, and, and he, he tends to have this very horizontal relation with everyone on the team. Okay. You know? uh, and, uh, and he includes you. He makes you part of it. Uh, okay. And he wanted to do a very different approach. I guess that's why I'm here. You know, he wanted to do a very intimate and realistic approach uh, in terms of the acting and the tone of the actors, you know? Okay. And, and, and on set for this movie, I mean, you're quite a serious character, character is in serious work, but surround you as an actor, you're surrounded by kind of robots and a lot of them going in CGI. Is that distracting as an actor? Do you know, because if you're a fan of Star Wars, I assume you're kind of like, this is kind of cool. When you're, yeah, like, you can lose focus, I'd imagine. I found myself many times just staring at things, going like, <laughs> oh my God, that's so cool. Look. And then suddenly like, oh shit, no, I'm not here to act. <laughs> uh, but. I had time to go through this process, you know, it was a seven month shoot. <laughs> okay. So I guess the first weeks, yes, I was a little bit like uh, just a kid wanting to uh, to take pictures and, and, and share with my friends. Yeah. Uh, but I have to say that there was a moment where we we, we we started to create a parallel, you know, kind of like, okay, this droid me is this person of my life, you know, or it can I can relate to this relation I have in my life or um, we had to we had to to bring realism to this world, you know. That's yeah. what Gareth was was asking us to do, and uh, and I think I think it's possible because for me this galaxy far far away is it, it, it's been always kind of like the world I live in. Yes, you know, it is very close to me. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I felt in the right place. FM one hundred four Dublin's hit music station.